on inspiring stuff on this Monday yeah. morning. Thank you so much to Bonga Ngobani and what he's doing for the community of Kailicha. But let's uh, reflect on some sport because it was a weekend full of action from the golfing courses to the rugby fields and of course the cycling as well. Um, so let's should we, should we start off with the appropriate way to be quarterfinals of yeah, Super Rugby. Let's get Man. the ugly stuff out the way first. When I say ugly, I mean that in a, in a bruising slugfest of a heavyweight boxing match kind of a sense. There were obviously some big wins, some big losses from a South African perspective this weekend. For the Stormers, the season has been a case of so close yet so yeah, far away. Absolutely. We've seen a massive ramp up in skill, um, the, those soft touches, the love of the team playing for each other, but they went down 17-11 to a chief side that was up for it. The mm. amount of tackles coming in, we had 80 and 86 um, or 71 and 89 tackles coming in on either side. Um, <clears throat> it, it really did turn into a test of character and will in the end. Um, the Oaks were double hitting. It looked like gridiron football. Um, James Lowe for me was a real standout player <laughs> yeah. for the Chiefs. Um, Stephen Donald being one of the oldest guys in the park, also brilliant. The Stormers didn't get to fire. They, that incredible back line that they've got wasn't able to get the space to run. As Sir Khaleesi had said before the match, it was all about that breakdown. The Chiefs managed to slow us down, then we had slowed them down, and that's when it just turned into this, this absolute slugfest. But I think from a Stormers perspective, they've got so much to build on going into the next season. Yeah. Um, whereas the Chiefs now, they've got to go... They've got to travel to Christchurch to take on a side with the, with the amount, you know, this terrible weather at the moment there, um, almost in a crisis mode. You know that the Crusaders are going to lift their game a hundredfold. To beat the Crusaders at home is going to be very, very good. Absolutely. Difficult. And of course, the Lions uh, victorious over the Sharks. Oh, what? poor Johanna Ackermann is probably about 15 years older and all of his hair has <laughs> turned to, to grey. The Sharks showed so much grit. Um, I think. The Lions could be forgiven for thinking this would be a walk in the park, having beaten them quite easily in their previous encounter. Mm -hmm. um, but the Lions came to play. I mean, the, the Sharks came to play, and it was a couple of calls. Stephen Levis being sent off with a yellow card. That started to turn, shift the momentum in the game. But Ruan Combring, talk about having <clears throat> that BMT. It just missed a penalty. Elton Yankees have missed two penalties, two conversions. They got gifted a massive, I think about a 54-meter penalty just before the end of the game, and he was able to convert that. So on yeah. his 50th appearance for yeah. the Lions as well. And of well. course, in those, any other uh, encounters, Crusaders victorious over the Highlanders and Brumbies going down to the Canes. And of course, Tour de France, big news over the weekend. Congratulations to Chris Froome. Uh, not having won one stage throughout this entire tour. He took, um, obviously held on to that yellow jersey for a very, very long time, but he gets to add to his um, three previous titles, 2013, 2015, and 2016. Team Sky were absolutely brilliant. It's the first time they've won the overall win as a team and had their rider retain that yellow jersey right until the end. Dutchman Dylan Kronewerchen, um, he took that final stage coming into Paris. Um, just to put it all down in numbers, they ride a distance of 3,540 kilometers, pretty much at Get a sprint. out of my life. Um, but I think the, the real agony from <laughs> our perspective, Louis Mankey's just missing out on that young riders classification coming in second but placing eighth overall that is not bad absolutely great stuff and of course the tip of the hat as you said earlier on to jordan spieth wow. the open champion but as south africans we've got to say super proud of mr brandon grace who really represented us well shooting a, a 62 uh, third round 62 for the first time ever in major championship history come on brandon grace we love you, sir. We love you.